I'm like, what is the cast of Nemo under this dress? Hi there, I'm Sonia Kruger and today I'm going through some of my most memorable Logies outfits with Yahoo Lifestyle. This was my Pamela Anderson meets Maths look. Maths it was, don't you, don't you think? Yeah. I think? I think I remember that that dress was Dolce & Gabbana. At that point, I was quite young and the Logies, you know, it was like, oh, you know, what am I going to wear? And I want to be comfortable. And it was super comfortable because it was made out of jersey. But it's that whole kind of like leopard print. You see, I don't know whether I even knew that my name Kruger rhymed with Cougar, but at that age, I got away with it. Oh, I love this dress. Okay, so this was by Jeton and it is Swarovski, Swarovski crystal. Very hard to say. I remember this night because I actually won best dressed of the night and for me that was that's almost better than winning a gold logie right it's it was so stunning and the boys put so much work into it i would wear that dress again to the logies if if i could it's so stunning one of my absolute favorites right this dress has a story behind it. Alex Perry made the dress and I remember we had a meeting. Alex is a dear, dear friend of mine. We've worked together for years on Dancing with the Stars. He's made me so many stunning dresses for the Logies and for red carpet events. And I said to him, I don't want anything that's uncomfortable or too hard to get around in. Like, you know, cause you've got to navigate tables and you don't want people stepping on your dress. And anyway, so that's what he made. I'm like, what is the cast of Nemo under this dress? Because there were so many ruffles in it. I mean, it's it's beautiful, but I, I just spent the whole night dragging this dress around, and then someone stepped on it. I think at one point, um, yeah, it was it was a tricky one. That one. The idea of wearing a. a ball gown to the Logies. It sounds very dramatic. It looks very dramatic on the red carpet, but it's not practical once you're in the room. It's not practical. This was my Game of Thrones era. So Stephen Khalil made this gown out of a beautiful inky, I think it was Giorgio Armani lace. And we had the, these incredible claw-like jewels that were made by Mustin. Like the, the jewelry was custom made. The dress, I just loved everything about it. It was really actually comfortable to wear, easy to walk around in. And it's still, it's yes, I would wear that again to the Logies. He's one of Australia's great designers and he's making my dress for the red carpet this year. We've left the Game of Thrones era behind though. Oh, okay. This gold dress is, I bought it online. <laughs> It's Hervé Lejeune and he's the designer who was famous for the bandage dresses and I think this might have been after I had Maggie and so again I just really wanted to be comfortable and it was sort of stretchy and I just loved the way it had a skirt that was a bit fringe like you know but the funny thing was that night I, see I've never been personally nominated for a Logie but everybody kept coming up to me saying oh you've come dressed as a gold Logie but um and it does look a bit like that, but it is one of my favorite dresses, actually. I do love that dress, and oh, yes, I would wear that again. Oh, yes, now this this was a beautiful dress, and I, do you know what? I can't think of the name of the designer. The stylist that I work with, Natalia DeMartin, sourced this dress, and it was actually a beautiful, soft, floaty, chiffon rainbow-colored piece, and I, I remember showing it to Maggie, my daughter. She's always my barometer and she was just like oh it looks like a rainbow mummy so yeah that was a really beautiful gown too oh and of course then last year which was that incredible um feathered two-piece so that was a bodysuit with a skirt over the top i adore the the uniqueness of this outfit i think it just looked amazing on the red carpet because it was white and it really stood out to sit in you know how feathers have quills the quills are on the inside of the dress. So it was kind of like sitting on a bed of nails for the night. So um, very happy to report there will be no, no feathers in this year's Logies dresses.